Oh, shalom, shalom. Peace and blessings, guys. Hope all is well. Got another word for you guys. <clears throat> I'm here to do God. I'm mean, you know, here to do God's purposes. I'm trying to, you know, add, add into the kingdom. Try to save as many souls as I can. Yeah, whether it be, whether it be by video, whether it be by example, whether when I step outside the door, you know, you want to represent, you want to show love and kindness to, you know, the people. No matter the color, no matter the race, no matter how a person look, you should never judge a um, book by the cover, by its cover. You know, that's just like with people that got tattoos on their face. You know, people, you know, nowadays people would be afraid of people with tattoos on their face. Until you start talking to some of them, you know, some of them people, you know, they've been through a lot. And some of the nice, my, nicest looking people, the most uh, innocent looking people, they're the ones you should be looking at. Because the ones that's with tattoos and faces, okay, let you know. You, you be like, oh, you already in your mind, be like, I'm not going to mess with that person. But the person don't got, they wear glasses. <laughs> they wear glasses. You might want to watch out for him. That dude might be a psychopath, a serial killer. Or a demon in the flesh. So that's that's how the, this world is, and that's how the devil is too. He comes uh, he comes to you as an angel of light. So he will come to you as an innocent guy, innocent man, innocent female. The whole time is Jezebel trying to carry out the devil's uh, assignment, trying to destroy you and take your soul. So that's the type of things you learn when you, you know you read the book. You read the Bible and you you allow God to open your eyes, give you revelation, things like that. Um, yeah, He do some here. He will show a lot to you. I'm I'm forever grateful. You know, once you get into the book, you'll see for yourself. So the, the the quicker you get into the book, and the quicker you at an earlier age, at a, the 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 earlier the age you get into get with God and don't you know dabble with the world. The less battles you will get into, the less chaos you will get into. So, you know, when you live a life of sin. You know, just like the rappers say, they live a life of sin. You know, that, that stuff catch up with you. No. As long as you know you're living that, you know, you're trying to live a lavish life, fast life, cars, money, all this and that, change, diamonds, whatever. <laughs> you got to, you got to. Pay up for that, you know. That life is not promising. That's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a false, false truth by the devil. You know, I rather, I, listen, I rather be struggling with bills than to be rich as ever and go to hell. I'm gonna just say it just like that. I rather be struggling with bills or struggling to get a house than to be rich as ever and go to hell. You can have it. So therefore. Yeah. Don't put money before don't put money before God. Don't that won't save you. That won't that won't that won't buy you love. That won't give you spiritual protection. That won't save you from the wrath of the devil. That won't save you from the wrath of God. So listen. Put put God first. Don't put a woman over him. Don't put a man over him. Don't put self pleasure over him. And definitely don't put yourself before him. And put God first. God loves us more than we love ourselves. And I really understand that now. God loves us more than we love ourselves. <coughs> Seriously. And it's mind boggling. The more I, I go through things different <laughs> the more I go through different things, the more I uh, you know, go through a, a, like a trial tribulation, the more I'll be like, dang. Like even when I mess up and God still come through for me, it just listen, that's the it'll break you down. You just gotta, you just gotta go through it for yourself. Yeah, you know, it make me cry like a baby when I think about certain, when I think about certain situations. I'm like, especially when the, the right gospel song come on, man. Listen, I'll be ready to break down like a baby for God. Listen, listen, I'm like, Shh. I, I'm so thank, I'm so thankful God, cause listen, I don't deserve to be here. <laughs> None of us do. That's why I'm so thankful for Jesus Christ. I'm so thankful for Jesus Christ. Like, from the bottom of my heart, so so thankful. But um, other than that, um, let me um, I'm in a book of uh, Psalms right now, and we will start from Psalms 89. Okay, I'm gonna read verse 13 and probably just stop at verse 16. It says, 
Thou hast a mighty arm, strong as thy hand, and high as thy right hand. God is a he, God has a mighty arm. And he and is and it says strong as thy hand. You got a strong hand. God is a strong arm and a strong hand against against your enemies. Remember that. No matter how many enemies you have, God is a strong arm and a strong hand. His arm can stretch from the east east coast to the west coast across the ocean. You hear me? With the blow of his mouth, with the blow of his breath. God can blow your enemies with like blow them straight away. You know, it says, uh, it says, and high is thy right hand. It says, justice and judgment are the habitation and of thy throne. Mercy and truth shall go before thy face. So God is a God of justice and judgment. He judges righteously. He doesn't judge wrong at all. Not a bit, not an inch, not a tinkle. So he would judge all of us accordingly to how we live, to what we do, to what we did to others, to what, how we think, to how we live. So just like I got, I get judged too. So that's why I go through certain things. You know, he's judging. He, he let, he's, he's letting things happen to you because he want to teach you a lesson. So if, you, if you're living like a heathen demon, you're going to allow things to happen to you. So if you are people that's out here thieving, uh, you know, lying, cheating, and stealing, he's going to allow that to happen to you. I mean, don't get me wrong. People that's for God, things happen to them as well. But they get through it. They can get through it. And they're saved, and, they, and, they're, and they're good. But as far as people who don't really have the Holy Spirit dwelling in them and grieving the Holy Spirit by, you know, being evil or allowing evil spirits to influence them instead of, you know, fighting that feeling like the flesh, you know, we, we for the desires of the flesh. So you wake up, that's like me, um, you know, I always had problems with uh, making friends or keeping friends. You know, God taught me a lesson through all that. Uh, God was really separating me from these people. Because I was, I was being with the wrong people, the wrong negative people, who were enemies at the end of the day. You know, by enemies, God blessed every single one of them. But they just, you know, they had a different path than me. God got a different plan for me versus for them. So that's why I didn't work out. And, you know, when you in that moment in the midst of it, you don't understand. You just feel like, you, feel, you start to think, something wrong with me. You know, like, is there something wrong with me? You're like, no, it's nothing wrong with you. God just know that if you start blessing you around these type of people that the enemy is really with, it's not going to be good for you. So you got to separate you. He's going to separate you. That's just like when, you know, you ask God to take away any enemies, any fake you know, we all ask God and pray to him. We have we like, God, can you please take away the fake friends around? Then you start you start losing those friends left and right. <laughs> they the same people that you was praying for. God knows. He, he knows. He sees more than us. He sees behind closed doors. He see he hears them hidden conversations. He sees them in a heart the inner heart of intentions and motives. You know. You know, you might have a car, you might have money, and that person leasing off you because you got uh you got money. Or you got a car, or they uh, they think you got all the ladies, so they want to be around you, or they want to be around that female friend because uh, she's popular. She get all the dudes, so she you know, she like, I wanna, I wanna be a part of that. So I mean, that's not even the main agenda, but as long as God see um something in you, and you start losing certain friends for no reason, that's God doing a favor. There's no rejection, it's protection. You know, as long as I mean, I'm gonna always say the truth. That's it. That's in the double flame. He don't like hearing the truth. And that's the truth. So, test every spirit. Just start speaking the truth. Start start saying stuff of God. And watch him flee. Watch him start acting strange. You know? Just do it. Watch. That's it. And, uh, I'm on nine minutes. I got carried away. But, um, that's all I got for you guys. Um,. I will keep reading, but I'm tired. I might get some food. I might eat. But uh, hope all is well. Stay blessed. Put God first. Don't conform to the world. Don't let the things of this world shake you up. Don't even listen. Block the world out and ignore everything that's going on in this world. I don't care if it's a massacre going on 10 miles away from you. Don't let that stuff shake you up. Don't let that stuff get to you. I don't care if you see a dad going 
vampire coming from the woods. Listen, the closer to God you get, the more unshakable you're going to be. His spirit going to strengthen you. He's going to quicken you. I'm telling you. And that's why I used to be, like, when I used to, I watch certain um, documentaries, I'd be like, how is, how is this person coming out alive and, you know, still got his mind intact and his spirit intact? As much as he's been through, been attacked, been through the most hell and high water. Listen, now I see why people turn to God the way they do. And now I don't judge nobody, you know, for, for, for worshiping God. I used to, like, feel fun. I'd be like, uh, I'm ashamed to talk about God and about His goodness and His love. Man, listen, new times, new mind. With the world going out of control the way it is, you're going to need God more than ever. And, uh, friends won't, won't save you. Your family can't save you. And you definitely can't save yourself. So, that's all I got, guys. Peace. Stay blessed. Stay strong. Put God first. Stay ashamed to be righteous. Don't walk in the, with the counsel of the wicked. Don't, don't worry about being cool. Don't worry about, you know, man, rebu try not to have sex. Get married first. And then at that, make sure you, the person you about to get married to is the right person. Because God definitely doesn't, he has a person for you and me. So that's why I'm still single right now. You know, out of des desperation, you know we all get married to the wrong person, right? And then on top of that, we have a child with the wrong person, which causes more problems. So it's it's a domino effect, man. It, it goes on and on. So, how to have.